Seabright, New Jersey, a day after the recreational town faced up to Sandy and lost badly. Seabright is accustomed to seasonal flooding, but the pounding it took from this tempest exceeded anything it has seen before. Just a few years ago, Seabright built this three meter high wall to protect it from the ocean. But on Monday night, it proved pretty much useless as the tidal surge simply overwhelmed it and washed across this town. Get in your vehicles, turn around and go home. Emergency personnel were preventing evacuated residents from crossing back over the barrier island's bridges. They said it was still too dangerous to return. But a few like Jeff Wadley and Bernadette Sabatini had chosen to wait out the storm in their homes. They escaped unhurt, but with a new respect for the sea's capacity for fury. When I went out to my car at high tide last night, it was 10, 10 foot at least in town. Yeah. Yeah, it's all gone. By far the worst. It was like having oceanfront property, literally. <laughs> you know? And in our condos, we were watching boats float down in front of us. The mood here, sad but philosophical about the storm's toll. The house is gone, but the wine is safe. But no one here is minimizing the effort it will take for Seabright's restoration or the true cost of beach life when an angry ocean unleashes its full power. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Seabright, New Jersey.